Now, as I said over there when I was nearer to John, uh, the big political story this week continues to be the question surrounding Hillary Clinton's pneumonia, or as some are calling it, Lungazi. <laughs> <laughs> Not many, not many people. So far, just me, but some. <laughs> Here's what we know so far. On Sunday, Secretary Clinton fainted and stumbled after leaving a 9-11 memorial service, and down she goes. And at first, her campaign said she was overheated, then later admitted she had been secretly diagnosed with pneumonia two days earlier. And may I remind you, that's pneumonia with a silent P. Why is that P even there? And who silenced it? <laughs> Someone check on that. Someone check on that. Now, sources say the real issue is chronic dehydration, exasperated by her reluctance to drink water, which has become a source of tension with her staff. <laughs> Adding, quote, she won't drink water, and you try telling Hillary Clinton she has to drink water. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Secretary Clinton, what if I told you there was a non-alcoholic beverage you can get free from any faucet, even sometimes from the sky? It's packed with oxygen, and get this, twice as much hydrogen. And it's delicious, like a tall glass of unflavored Gatorade. Mm. Ah, water. You need it to live. I am not a fan. And <laughs> this whole pneumonia saga feeds right into the narrative that Clinton's hiding things and she's too unhealthy to serve. Even Democratic strategist and man whose porn name is his real name, David Axelrod, <laughs> tweeted... <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine if the door opened and he's there going, pizza delivery? <laughs> Yeah, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Axelrod tweeted, Antibiotics can take care of pneumonia. What's the cure for an unhealthy pension for privacy that repeatedly creates unnecessary problems? Well, I'm not sure, but in a lot of families, it's alcohol. <laughs> but in this case, there may be no cure, because hiding her diagnosis makes all those Clinton conspiracies seem true. What else could be true? Is the Clinton Foundation really a big slush fund? Did they cover up an illicit cocaine ring? Is Hillary a blood-drinking extraterrestrial lizard in disguise? <laughs> if so, she needs to drink more blood because she is getting dehydrated. <laughs> now, Hillary Clinton, Hillary Clinton took yesterday off and reassured supporters that she's feeling fine, tweeting, like anyone who's ever been home sick from work, I'm just anxious to get back out there. Okay, she's an alien. <laughs> Come on, Senator, if you're homesick, the only thing I'm anxious to do is watch more prices right. <laughs> Honey, can you get me a fresh ginger ale, please? I fell asleep and the ice melted in this one and now it's all watery. <laughs> could I have some toast or some saltines? Or a burger? <laughs> That's me being sick. <laughs> and Hillary even got on the phone with TV's healthiest human, Anderson Cooper. Why not just say on Friday, you know, I have pneumonia, folks. Uh, I'm going to power through it. Why keep it a secret? Well, I, I, I just didn't think it was going to be that big a deal. Yeah. Pneumonia is no big deal when you're running for president. Just ask William Henry Harrison. Oh, wait, <laughs> you can't. He died of pneumonia. <laughs> Now, this level of secrecy for something so seemingly minor comes off as, frankly, cartoonish. So here to reassure us about our health situation, please welcome cartoon Hillary Clinton. Hi. Hel <laughs> Thank you. Hello over there. Hi. Hi, hi up top. Hi, hi. Uh, Secretary Cartoon Clinton, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Stephen. I am happy to be here, smiling, waving, breathing on my own. 
Well, uh, that's good to hear, but uh, tell me, why did you hide your pneumonia diagnosis? Great question, Stephen. Look, I'm just doing what hardworking Americans do every day, powering through a little illness to <coughs> do my job. <coughs> are, are, uh, Secretary, are you okay? I'm wonderful, Stephen. <coughs> Let me just get my inhaler. Okay. All right, okay, all right. Uh, Secretary, that, that is a bong. Absolutely, Stephen. And ask yourself, would I be using recreational drugs if I wasn't feeling well? <laughs> Hi, hello, Bernie voters. I'm feeling the burn. All right, all right, all right, all right. Well, <laughs> is this diagnosis going to slow down your campaign schedule? Not a bit, Stephen. I'm going to be out there every day <laughs> listening to the voices of... <coughs> Sorry, Stephen, that's just my allergies. <coughs> oh, my God! Did you just cough up a cat? Sure did. This is my cat allergies. Sometimes at night, she crawls into my mouth and nestles in my lungs. Because like all humans, Stephen, I am warm-blooded. That is incredibly, incredibly disturbing. Well, not as disturbing as the disappearance of the middle class. Hey. Hey, up there, you like that. Okay, uh... <laughs> Thank you. Secretary Clinton, I, it, it seems like this campaign is taking a real physical toll on you. Nothing could be further from the truth. I am fired up and energized by the stories of everyday Americans who... <coughs> Sorry, uh, frog in my throat, Stephen. As I was saying, everyday Americans who need someone to fight for them. Uh, Secretary Cartoon Clinton, I am clearly talking to your disembodied spirit right now. <laughs> what, this? No, Stephen, I'm just displaying total transparency. <laughs> now, mm -hmm, thank you. Hello, thank you. Now, if you excuse me, I think I can hear my childhood dog barking, so I'm just gonna go towards that light. No, no, no! Thank you, thank you! It is good to be back. Well, can, can, I, can I get you a glass of water? No, thanks. Never touch this stuff. Cartoon Hillary Clinton, everybody. Goodbye. Thank you, thank you. <coughs> we'll be right back oh, with Joseph so Gordon Levin.